Right viewers, so we've now got Mr. Chippy's HMV Stereo Master 2330, that's the stereo version. The 23301 would be the mono version. And it is now put back together. Now we had a bit of a problem. And it's, there's not been any grass growing around this, so to speak, because Mr. Chippy, um, you know, works here and it was something for himself. What we discovered when we put it back together is that the record player motor was open circuit and so what we've had a bit of a scramble around in the last uh, few weeks and I discovered I've got a Ferguson Studio 6 stereo, um, stereo music center which we bought at auction about 15 years ago for a couple of pounds and it kind of had a similar BSR deck so what we've been able to do is to take the motor off that and it was bought as scrap and when I tell you it you know it really is scrap uh, there's nothing we're going to resurrect off that um, pick up cartridge and the motor and a few knobs is about all you would get off it so I say we bought that about 15 years ago for a couple of pounds and that's reaped a benefit because we've been able to take the motor off it the only snag we discovered Is this the, uh, is that the motor, Mr. Chippy, which I've got in my hand? Or is that the other motor? That's the other motor. Ah. The yeah, it goes without saying we thought it was a Garrard 3000. I'll just admit the error. And so we took that off a scrap record that we'd bought in in the past. And then, of course, when we opened it up, we found it was a BSR. Now, the only snag we had was that when we took the motor off the other, off the um, Studio 6 Ferguson Music Centre, it was a three speed and if you see the spindle's got three steps in it for the three different speeds so what we had to do is to change the armature from the original motor and then take this one off which is the three speed one because it's a four speed and although we don't have anything to play at 16 rpm mr chippy wanted it to be correct and that's quite right what we've set we've done we've set the tracking pressure on this and it's, it is aligned at just over three grams. Anti-skate control is set for three grams. I like these to be under four. Uh, we're playing, we tend to play old records and I don't really want to start trying to get it to track at two grams. So I think three, 3.2 is a good compromise. So it's got a new stylus in it. Tracking pressure's correct. And if we'd actually plugged it in, I would actually be able to show it unit work now we've put it back together. Mr. Chippy's just mentioned it wasn't just the fact that it had the missing speed with the wrong motor, but all the speeds were one out. So you put it on uh, 33 and it played 45. So that wanted addressing, and hence we changed that armature over with the spindle. Now, hopefully, if we switch this on, and we're greeted with radio. And what we'll now do is to get a record and you will play one of our famous B-sides. So I'll switch this to Gram. So fast forwarding a couple of weeks from the last time I took the video, finished the finished Stereo Master for Mr. Chippy, we uploaded the video and it was rejected on copyright grounds. So the Cliff Richard B-side that I tried to play you uh, didn't work out so we're finding something even more obscure so we just uh, kind of got it dumped in the Stereo Master shed at the moment and um, let's see whether this record makes it through the copyright police so this time the B-side is Betty Noir and You Are The Sun and when was this from 1979 Nice surface noise on that. Oh, the sun, you 
So there we are, the rebuilt Stereo Master of Mr. Chippies lives again. And let's hope you can view this video and the copyright police don't get to it. Thanks very much for watching.